So here's my uh, contribution to this project. We're about halfway through with the build right now, and I'll explain a little bit what I'm doing because video is probably a lot easier to understand than uh, text and pictures that will be up as well. But uh, instead of using uh, the cuts that were modeled after a VA woodworker's uh, design, I decided to cut this plywood and uh, kind of bend it around, create a form. I'm still going to skin it using some hardboard, but uh, in my opinion, this is an easier method. Um, might take a little bit longer time, but um, it would be easier to design this on any type of uh, drum because it doesn't, you don't have to figure in uh, calculations or angles or anything like that. You just kind of bend it around there and put it all together. It will be sitting flush here with the bottom and the top once it's on, so you come back and sand it, make it look pretty nice if you want to paint it or anything like that. Uh, I'm going with six inch ports for top and, uh, and uh, intake. Um, Basically, these are just called, uh, I think it's, um, they're AC parts made for uh, connecting uh, two pieces of six inch pipe together. What's really nice about it is we have this notch right here in the middle, which is going to make uh, setting it in here quite easy. Uh, all basically we've got to do is I'm going to create a, a router template where I can set it on the top here and get a perfect circle and set it over here once this is built and I'll be able to route through it as well. But the nice thing about having uh, that part there in the middle is once it goes in there it's going to sit flush right against it and we can use some um, glue or mastic to, to keep it in there permanently. Um, we're going to skin it starting all the way from the back here and go all the way around um, and then I'm going to build out the edge here to mimic the line. This line that I've drawn all the way around here using the compass mimics the opening of the container exactly so what I'm going to do is as it's coming around skinning I'm going to build it out just a little bit so that once this is sitting in there it's going to go right across the front of it. I will end up having to notch the first front half of that uh, so it doesn't obstruct the airflow but uh, we'll see what happens. I've had quite a few design changes so far so we'll see if any of this actually makes it to the end but um, so far so good. I probably got about two to three hours into it right now. The rest of the time I spent trying to figure out how to do it differently.